Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, my name is Jesse. I'm the worship pastor at Calvary and I'll be sharing your word for the day. Go ahead and get your Bible or Bible app out as we read Philippians 3, 3 through 7 together. Philippians 3 is discussing righteousness through faith in Christ. So maybe this sounds familiar. If I live a good life and do the right thing, and I'm a good person, that I should go to heaven. But the reality is, that's not true. We can do lots of kind things, be giving, helping others, have success, even show up to church and serve. While those can be good things, none of them will ever be enough. We're all sinners in need of a Savior, and we're saved by grace and faith alone, not by works. Jesus has changed our eternity and Paul's going to share how Christ has changed his life and his relationship with God. So let's read Philippians 3.3 3 together. For we are the circumcision who worship by the Spirit of God and glory in Christ Jesus and put no confidence in the flesh, though I myself have reason for confidence in the flesh also. If anyone else thinks he has reason for confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. When we see some of Paul's testimony and his past religious life before knowing Jesus, he came from a godly family who followed the law. He was a member of God's chosen people. He was a Hebrew and a Pharisee. He was so zealous and he persecuted the church. He obeyed the law without fault. He thought the things that he was doing were earning him points and getting him closer to God. But after knowing Christ and the truth, Paul knew no amount of external success or religious accolades could replace intimacy with God. Thankfully, through Jesus, we are saved through grace and faith alone, not by works. And what a blessing that is from God. So today, let's choose to spend time with God daily, following the truth of his word, so that we have a close, intimate relationship with God, trusting him fully in all areas of our life, and giving us confidence in our eternity with him, and confidence to share the good news of Jesus. Have a great day.